Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Cory, aka Crasher, here with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are back with a brand new episode of Pokemon Horizons, episode 48, baby, and this right here revolves around Roy's basics test. I absolutely cannot wait to get into this. So if you guys enjoy what you see here in today's video, make sure you guys thumbs up the like button and subscribe. We do this sort of thing every single week that there is a brand new episode of the series. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in and say along with me. Hey, yo! All right, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. My name is Liko. I'm taking a terrestrial course along with Roy and Dot. We're getting a recap of the previous episode, and I have to say, for Liko's first time terrestrializing, that was so awesome. And Roy is up next. Oh man, I can't wait for this. Give me a bunch of flamethrowers. Alright, we got Flay Coco. Working on the flamethrower game. He's really fired up. Yeah. We gotta win and pass the Tarasta course, Flay Coco. I think you'll be fine. And after that, next time, we're gonna beat that Black Rayquaza. Oh yeah, baby. Give me a bunch of stomping tantrums. One, two, three, four, five. He is really fire. Whoa. He got a bit too excited. He just collapsed the ground. <laughs> I hope he's okay. Man, to say that Roy and Coco are fired up, that is not only a pun, but a massive understatement. I cannot wait to see how our boy Roy is going to do here. Shine, the sparkling of fire and art. Let's do it, baby. And we're here at Artisan, but why does it look all gloomy? Like, look at the weather. But something's going on. A festival, maybe? No, it looks that way. Why is everything so dark and gloomy looking? Like the weather and stuff. Easy, easy does it. Setting up that sign there. Oh, we got Hassel! Alright! <laughs> Good old Hassel. Ah, it's you three. What's going on? Welcome to the art festival. Indeed. Every year at around this time, Bold Town hosts a delightful festival of the arts. Yeah, yeah. I'm here to lend any assistance I can as an art instructor. Yeah, he's an art aficionado as well as Elite Four. And, ooh, that's actually a cool piece right there. Isn't that Mr. Colza's? Correct. Yes, Sunflora and the Black Rayquaza. It's the centerpiece of this year's festival. He is the festival's artistic director after all. I want to challenge him right away. Is he at the gym? Oh, challenge him. Ah, for the Tarasco course. Yeah, yeah. Well then, allow me to escort you. And here we are at the arena already. That didn't take long. And there is Brassius. There we go. Yup. How are things coming along? Ah, yes. I think it's shaping up to be something truly avant-garde. Hmm. Aren't you kids? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Colza. Are you two friends? Yup. They gotta be. We're closely acquainted. Uh, you're basically artistic BFFs. Now we're suffering from art block. Yep. Hassel provided a sympathetic ear and, and sound advice. He's my mentor. It's thanks to him that my current art style was able to take shape. There we go. And, oh, Liko's dad is there too. Mr. Alex's picture books exhibit a strong artistic flair. I inv invited him in hopes of borrowing just a touch of it. Hi, Mr. Alex. Hey. Is the course going well for you? Well, Liko passed her basics test. That's great news. There's Dot and Quaxley. Yep, nice to meet you. <laughs> Liko's told me all about you. My, what a surprise. I had no idea Mr. Alex was Liko's father. It's like we have ourselves artistic royalty here. And we got Roy wanting to battle. Hmm, yes, I was informed of your participation in the Terrasa course. And I'm curious to see how you've improved since last time. Yes, rematch. But unfortunately, I haven't the time right now. What? I must finish this news piece before the ceremony tonight. Okay, that is fair. Okay. We got another Sun Flora. <laughs> wow. I'm really, I'm really excited to see how that piece is going to turn out. As such, coursework will have to wait, and wait until after the ceremony. Until then, enjoy the breeze of our artistry blown through the town to your heart's content. I can't wait that long. Hmm? We want to get stronger right away and challenge the Black Rayquaza again, so... So why not battle me? Huh? <gasps> oh, Nimona! Let's go! I was passing by and heard your voice. 
We didn't get to fight last time, but nothing will stop us today. Let's do it. I want to battle. Okay, here we go. Finally, finally, finally. We get ourselves that... We get that awaited match. We got Parmot. <laughs> it's normally slow to react, but once it enters the battle, it'll strike down its enemies with lightning fast movements. Electric fighting, huh? You're banned from terrestrializing outside of course battles, right? Then I won't terrestrialize either. Feel free to. I don't mind. Feeling pretty confident, huh? Well, then let the battle begin. All right, here we go. All right, Fuyakoko uses Stomping Tantrum. That's going to be super effective. But we got Dodge, and now we got Quick Attack. Oh, that landed. Oh, boy. Okay, now we got Charming Voice. That's also going to be super effective, too, due to the fighting type. Being weak to fairy types. But that actually landed. Keep your distance. You've got some new moves. Your efforts are quick to bear fruit. And now we got Flamethrower. Let's go, baby. Oh, that actually landed, too. Okay, and what? Oh, no, the battle's gonna get rained out? Quarter him, Stomping Tantrum, okay. They're still gonna keep going at it. Okay, now we got Dig from Palmot here. That's gonna be super effective against Fue Coco if it lands. Keep your eyes peeled, Fue Coco. Attack when he pops out. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! And now we got Flamethrower, here we go. Is it gonna be good in rain? Nope! No, the rain fizzled it out! All-out lightning attack. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh. Yep. Nope. Fue Coco's flame got extinguished thanks to the damn rain. And the hopes of winning the battle has also been extinguished. Why didn't Flamethrower work? Well, because of the rain, bro. He just realizes it now. <laughs> but he's that much into the battling. That was a nice, fruitful battle. We should... Let's battle again. Huh? I only lost because of the rain. There's no point. Oh. You cannot win as you are now, no matter how much you try. As long as you fail to understand why that is, you will never master Terrastal. Ooh. Our battle is on indefinite hold. Damn, Roy's getting freaking... Wow. Well, how does this sound? Why not try your hands at art as a change of pace? Good idea. I'm interested in seeing what Liko and her friends will come up with, too. This art festival accepts submissions from anyone and everyone. I'm excited to see what they're gonna be what they're gonna be doing here. But Roy's eagerness, I really hope it doesn't land him in trouble here. Like, you know, I I, I get obviously like he has goals and stuff like that. He wants another rematch against that Black Rayquaza, but. Yeah, he's he's got to, like, pump the brakes a little bit. Kind of, don't forget to be humble. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to be humble in the face of defeat or, you know, circumstance, right? Got it. If you want to try it. Well then, Nimona, please show Roy and the others the way, if you would. During the art festival, the Pokemon Gyms serves as a public workspace. Ooh! Feel free to use any materials and tools you want. Okay, okay. We ought to be getting back. Oh. What should we make? I'm excited to see how what what they're going to be coming up with here. So, it looks like Liko and, uh, and uh, Foragato might be painting. And, oh! We ever saw Tinkatink coming out. Oh, man. It looks like they're, uh, Dot and Quaxley are going to be working with metals here. And now we got Roy and Fue Coco looking at that Charizard art piece. That looks cool. All right. So what kind of painting should we make? I'm curious to see what Liko and Florigato is going to come up with here. Paw print. <laughs> okay. Paw print stamping. I've got it. Try doing that with your bud. Oh? Good old yo-yo. All right. That's perfect. So, it looks like Liko's art piece is going to be based on uh, not only painting, but, you know, obviously paw stamping and stuff. So, it's going to be an effort with all of her Pokemon. Hold on. If I can put this and this together. No, maybe not. Wait. If Quaxley helps out, that might work. 
But I want a little more something high tech, which means... Okay. It's starting to look like Charizard now. Well, it is looking good for a start. Okay. I like to... Oh! Okay. We have ourselves Wattrell coming out. I got a favor to ask. Could you help me out? Okay, what... What's... What does Dot want with Wattrell here? I am very curious. We gotta give this our all way, Coco. Let's see how it's gonna turn out. Let's see. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Okay. Hmm. Something just feels off. It just doesn't stand out. We gotta work on it a little bit more. I guess start- Oh! Oh no, it's starting to wilt! It's falling apart! Oh no! Art lives or dies by the artist's hand. Oh? We got Brassius here. This clay is not the only material at your disposal. Anything in sight, as well as anything in reach. Could be the clue you need to when creating your art. Anything can be a clue? Yeah. I am so lost! Oh, come on, Roy, you got this, man. You just gotta chill. Calm down. <laughs> like... You just gotta, you just gotta trust the process, man. This clay is not your only material, huh? But what else is there? Oh! <laughs> Are you okay, Flay Coco? Yeah, the, the, the clay went right into his nose. Aw, oh, you burnt it. Don't sweat it, we can start over. Well, wait a second now. That actually looks pretty good burnt like that. I was gonna say, don't, shouldn't they use Flay Coco's flames to, like, solidify the clay so it becomes, like, a solid statue? Maybe we can use Pokemon moves as materials too. Yeah, there you go. All right. That should do it. Flay Coco, burn it with Flamethrower. Oh, those wings actually look really cool. Looking good. All right, okay. Okay, this is actually... Finished. Okay. That looks really good for, you know, like for, for a, a, an attempt right there. Obviously, it's not going to be like, you know, a, uh, you know, a, a masterpiece. But for, for what Roy had to work with, that was good. But that art piece with her quakes is even better, man. Like, that is just, that is insane. Wow. I made a carving of a Parmot in the heat of battle. Cool. That's uh, Nimona's art submission right there. Let me see yours. Oh! Liko's painting is super colorful. Wow. Arbalva in full bloom. It turned out excellent. Such bold cho color choices. Truly avant-garde. We did it! Liko's piece looks really good. Oh! It's a hammer Ferris wheel? What? Okay, we got... We got Spark. We have Water Gun. Let's see this here. Dude, that is actually really cool. And it lights up too. That's marvelous. And now we have ourselves Roy's submission, the Charizard. It really stands out. What's the title of this piece? I want to get stronger. It's inspired by Flay Coco's wish to be like Charizard and by my feelings too. Okay. Okay, Flay Coco, finish it up with a flamethrower. Okay, let's see this here. Okay. Oh, wait a second. It lights up. It actually lights up. It just oozes strength. Okay. You see what happens, Roy, when you calm down and you focus? Ours not the only field where clues may be found anywhere you look. The same is true of battling. Because battling can be like an art. Terrestrial is battling's art to mixed media artwork. Pokemon and Trainer, Sky and Land, Logic and Emotion. When they all intertwine, that is when you create art that shines the brightest. Damn straight. I'll be waiting at the battle court. Oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. Let's do this. Are you ready to fling open the doors to the world of art? I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. Okay. So we got Pseudo Wudo, baby. Let's do this. Yep, Pseudowoodo is normally a rock type. 
but it becomes a grass type after terrestrializing. Do you understand what that means? Yes. As long as he's rock type, he has Fue Coco at a disadvantage. But there's also Stomping Tantrum, which is super effective. So we'll see this. Let the battle begin. And now we got Stomping Tantrum. Okay. Good way to lead off. Still going with that, eh? Oh, we got Substitute. The left one. Okay. And, okay, that Substitute is gone. Oh, now we got Stone Edge. Uh-oh, that's going to be super effective. That's going to hurt if it lands. Oh, and it landed! No! That can't be for Flay Coco, though. No way. Ah, there we go. Small and mighty. There we go. Okay, Charm Voice. I've seen that move before, too. Stone Edge. Okay. Oh! The Charm Voice is going right through the Stone Edge. He stopped stomping tan Tantrum and Charm Voice. Guess he's ready to counter anything he's seen once before. That's a gym leader for you. What's wrong? Already stuck? I'm just getting started. Give me a bunch of flamethrowers. Pointless. Substitute. Oh boy. Seems like uh, <laughs> he's allowing for his emotions to uh, to dictate the battle. Like He can't land a single hit. He needs to change his approach. Yeah, Roy's got to calm down. He's got to exercise some logic in this. He's just going to burn out Flay Coco with all those flamethrower spams. Like this, the... Nothing is... Wow, it seems this is all you're capable of. It's getting really hot. I have to find a clue to victory. Okay. Things are heating up, that's for sure. Oh, wait a second. I've got it. Stomping Tantrum on, on the left, Pseudo Wudo. Okay. What's he... What's he got in mind here? Oh! Oh, it worked! It actually worked! We can do this. Stomping Tantrum on the left one. Okay. It, and it worked again! Now to the right! The left! The right! Okay, Roy's actually cooking here. <laughs> okay, now we got Stone Edge here. Brassius is feeling the heat a little bit. Now we got Stomping Tantrum here. Alright, okay, okay. It's breaking through the Stone Edge. Ooh! Right in the face! Right in the face. Yep, Sudowoodo is, uh, is fed up with the Stomping Tantrum. I'll now fulfill your expectations. The lie that came true, part two. Oh, we got Terrastalization. You know what this means. That means that Sudowoodo... Is going to be terrestrializing into the grass type. Which means Flamethrower is going to be super effective now. So he put himself at a disadvantage. But uh, even though that's how it looks. Shine bright crystallization of our dreams. That's a good catchphrase there. Okay, now we got Flame Coco. Yo, let's do this. Let's freaking do this, baby. Nice. Let's go. You're so cool! Yeah, Fue Coco's rocking the crown. Let's speed things up and finish this in one blow. Trailblaze! Oh, Snaparoonie! Oh, you gotta do something. We can speed up too. Nitro Charge! Yep, that's right! Flame, flame Charge! So we got two attacks coming together that boost the speed. Let's see this! Let's see this! Boom! Okay, oh! They're stumlocked. Who's going to give first, though? Okay. Fue Coco. Let's go, man. Nice. Sudowoodo got sent way back. Now we got Flamethrower here. Okay. Could we actually see the Rabbito that had the victory? It landed flush. Is that it? Is that actually it? Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Dude, no way! No freaking way! Are you serious? Boy Coco and Roy beat Brassius and Sudowoodo! They beat a freaking gym leader, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is insane. 
I could see it sweating. It was thanks to you teaching me that clues can come from anywhere, Mr. Colza. That's how he was able to detect the real one. You saw everything, felt everything, and then you created. Any artist capable of that is worthy of Terrastal. Allow me to pass you on your basics test. Dude. Let's go, Roy. See, this is what happens when you cool down and you think. Dude, that is so awesome. Roy freaking, like, not only did he pass, but he ended up beating Brassius in the rematch. And now Dot's up next, too. Dot and Iono. The battle made me hungry. Well, yeah. Uh, that would make anybody hungry. There's plenty of carts over there. Oh. Let's go, everyone. The art festival has only just begun. Enjoy yourselves, adolescents. Wow, dude. Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. I actually cannot believe this. Roy, like, I had a feeling that Roy was going to pass his basics test. But not only did he pass, he won. He won against Brassius in the rematch. That is just, that is insane, bro. That is insane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get into my post-reaction thoughts about episode 48 of Pokemon Horizons. And I am still absolutely stunned, bewildered, that our young King Roy not only won his rematch, like, he, he, he won seemingly convincingly. Like, the last time him and Brassius hooked up, obviously Brassius won, but I was expecting Brassius to win again, but just barely. But man, no, 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 that did not happen, my friends. Roy ended up shining on through his first time to rastalization, and he wiped out a gym leader. Like, that is actually crazy to think about. And that there just shows you the type of prowess that Roy and Fuecoco have when they set aside their emotions and they start implementing logic in situations like these. And on that note, this episode actually ended up exploiting a flaw in Roy. That being the fact that he can be a little bit high-strung. He can be a little bit hot-headed. And when something doesn't go his way, well... He has a little bit of a harder time adjusting to it, but let me tell you something. When he adjusts to it, when he really gets his mind straight, man, there is absolutely no stopping that boy. And can we also just talk about the art aspect of this episode? Because that right there was also really amazing. Not only did I love the art pieces that came from Brassius himself, but the art pieces that came from Liko, Dot, and Roy all turned out to be fantastic in their own way. And they're not even artists, but the fact that they actually turned out really, really good shows that they also have artistic prowess to them. And another thing to appreciate when it comes to the art aspect of this episode was that art can be compared to battling, which is something that Roy is very crazy over. And it just so happens that this art exercise was just what was needed to teach Roy a very valuable lesson. And that lesson was what helped him carry himself through that battle. And on the note of battling, I also want to mention this. I'm really glad to see that Roy and Nimona finally got to battle each other. Unfortunately, due to the elements, that being the weather, the battle kind of got sandbagged for Roy. I do hope that they get to have a rematch, which I very much think they will, and I hope that it's under better circumstances. And as it stands right now, Liko passed her basics test, and now Roy passed his basics test, and now we have ourselves Dot, the Plantera of Pokemon Horizons, up next. This is something I am very much looking forward to. So I'm going to go ahead and give this episode a solid 9 out of 10. I really, really loved the fact that we got ourselves a Roy-focused episode. And in my opinion, it was done well. Like, not only did we get ourselves Roy getting a huge W, not just in the form of passing the basics test, but also beating Brassius, an established gym leader. I, dude, I still can't get over that. That was just absolutely phenomenal. But I also appreciate the attention to detail that this episode shown 
i.e. the flaws in Roy. As it would turn out, Roy isn't just a happy-go-lucky individual, he has some flaws to him. He can be a little bit hot-headed, a little bit impatient when things don't go his way. As an example, with Nimona, when the battle didn't go his way, or when it came to Brassius, he was being pushy, he was being a little bit rushy, so he kind of needed to pump the brakes a little bit. Remember, hey, stay humble, stay focused, you're gonna get it eventually. So what are your guys' thoughts and opinions about episode 48 of Pokemon Horizons? How would you score this episode out of 10, and what stuck out to you guys the most? Whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen, so I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and especially comment your thoughts down below, because I love hearing from you guys. Always have, that will never ever change. So thanks again for watching, have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.